So I, I'm glad that you are paying attention to that. Because true, it's true, that's a key factor to this that a lot of people just take for granted. Well, I had no answer at all for that, so... Uh, sorry. But, uh, I like music, too. La la. That'll go with the rock opera thing that we're doing next year when we do it. Thank you. Um, I was just wondering if you could summon operas. No! Don't be whore! Don't be Wait, you want me to say, I summon Obelisk, the Tormentor! I've never said that before, it's just crazy. It just came to me in a dream. Oh, hey, Kaiba, can you uh, say, There's nothing you can afford! But that was so good. Why would I, why? Why would I do that? What am I supposed to say? See, screw the rules, I have money. Yeah, but isn't that an abridged line? Kaiba doesn't do a bridge lines. Why? Because Eric's funnier than Little Karibo. No, you did it! I'll do a Little Karibo with no hands. <laughs> Sorry, you two came late at this, so... That's, uh... Let me ask uh, you. Alright, I got two questions. Uh, one of them is, uh, I'm not playing with four kids, but I thought as if the dialogue within the whole four series was a lot weaker than the original. Like the original not bad. If you guys had any chance that you had, you had the power to change the company that dubbed the anime for English video. Now you're talking about the original meaning the Japanese? Yeah. Because four kids usually the source of the dubs. Well, no, they, they soften it up for another reason. The BSMP. Remember the difference between where we air this stuff and where we, in, here in America, there are rules by the network of what you can say. And those things, that's the filter that you have to go through. So what you might be able to get away with in Japan, whether it even be a visual, you have to change because of the rules of the network. Now, bad writing is bad writing. I'm not defending that, but just remember that the toning down things, a lot of that stuff is, is done because it's Saturday morning in the United States and there are children watching and in this country we have some very crazy strict rules. I, I, I've said this in the past at conventions and stuff, the, the, the company is called Four Kids, not Four Deranged Adults, <laughs> so they do kind of have to tamper, tamper things down. Yeah, it's just yeah, the way it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's a kid's show here, it may not be in Japan, but it is here. You, you can't get away with mass murder or using guns or anything of that nature. So. But, but the question you had is, could we, we, would we want to rewrite some things? Yeah, I would, agree, I would agree with you. I think that there are some things... I thought it was perfect. Except for Joey's lines, I would, not, I would rewrite some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and the second question is, I know all you guys uh, like to family guns in the business, but if anybody wants to get into the business, how is it you feel about uh, I mean, we each probably have our own answer. I, I always tell people that, let's see, first of all, I tell people to study acting, first of all. Um, then you want to take classes, as many as you can, then you want to make sure you get a reel. Then you got to live in, you know, you want to do animation, you should probably live in Los Angeles because there's very little of it in New York. But you got to be in, you want to get into voiceovers, you got to be in Los Angeles or New York or maybe Chicago, you gotta knock down every door, you gotta be really patient. But mostly you gotta study, you, you gotta work, you know, because I think people think sometimes it's a simple thing you can pick up and you just wanna have as many tools as you can so when you get the opportunity to walk through the door, you're ready. Because there's not a lot of opportunity. I mean, as you can hear, and a lot of it's luck, a lot of it's being in the right place at the right time, trying to take advantages of, uh, advantage of relationships you have with people who might be in the business without being too pushy. That's also something you have to learn, that you have to go through. I mean, I know I've been, I've been doing this for almost 20 years. I mean, not specifically voiceovers, but trying to be an actor and be in the business. And it's, it's a lot. You, you have to work hard and be ready and, and push relationships. That's what I would say. I also think that one of the things that we miss a lot in this world Sorry, are you too. being apprentices. Up, so. I learned the most by being in a studio. Even though I didn't know I wanted to be a voice actor, I absorbed what was going on. And I think that there are places, yes, in this economy it's hard to get a job, you know, in the business, but you can still 
intern somewhere. If you can find like your local radio station, or you can find a local advertising agency that might do production. Sorry and you can offer recording. your time. I've got a couple hours a week. I'd like to just, can I make copies? Can I just be around? You will absorb what's going on. Um, there's nuances. It's like, uh, you know, if you wanted to build, uh, be a great uh, cabinet maker, you'd go find a woodworker and just be around them, hand them the, the tools. It's the same kind of thing, you pick up a lot from that. So if you're not ready to move to one of the major cities right now, but wanna get a le at least a taste of that, if you're in the facility, you might actually be asked to audition for something at some point. Uh, the one final question, actually, uh, uh, Well, the second of two would be fine. Okay, that's great. Cool. Uh, this for everybody here. How do you guys feel with Tsunami's return? Tsunami's return. Well, uh, Konami's return. Oh, Toonami. Oh, I don't know. Oh, right. Well, I, I love Cartoon Network. Is that what that's on? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's great. I, uh, is Toonami specifically anime? Yes. Then good. I'm glad it's back. Because, uh, you know, this stuff is great. It's fun. Uh, aren't we glad it's back? You should be. Uh, are we not glad it's back? Yeah. Am I barking the wrong tree here? I take we're glad it's back! The hell with yeah. that. Cartoon Network has some great stuff on there, and, and it, it, it gives exposure to anime, it's great. Can't be anything wrong with that. Yo, I'm sorry, I was in the way, I should have told you. Alright, three more questions. Say excuse me, Hello, you can play as always today. <laughs> okay, have you ever played yu gi -Oh before? Uh, I played a little bit, because my son duels, but uh, I... I, I'm not that good, and, and, and I can't duel you. <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh, maybe the second or third season of Yu-Gi-Oh, Dan Green and I were asked to do a DVD explaining the rules, mm -hmm. and he and I became really good friends over the first season. We thought, hey, you know, we don't know how to play this thing. <laughs> this DVD is gonna be great, we're gonna learn, we were informed about it, we'll be able to go to conventions and talk to people and know, and we had a four or five hour recording session. And we were even more clueless than we walked in in the first place. We had no idea how to play this game. And I salute you all for learning it, because it's complicated. Now, I directed the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I got to digest every rule, every card, every, every move there was. And as soon as I thought I, all, I had it all together and I was ready to actually play it, Yugi cheated. And I decided that there was no use in playing. Because he was always going to figure some, pull some card out behind his ear and go, I got this. Be like, what happened? So no, I don't play. Because of that experience. Oh, uh, damn, Yugi. <laughs> Mess Kaiba's experience. It's funny as shit. What I want to know is, what is your favorite line from any character that you've ever done? Oh, I got mine. Mine's easy. It would be James saying, I'm a flaming Moltres. <laughs> uh, I'm going to paraphrase because I said it so often in the first season. It was, it, Variations of it just make me laugh every time. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta do it for my sister. <laughs> Serenity. <laughs> Go Yugi. <laughs> or if I if I move out, I always like saying this one. My name is Raphael, and the bozo in the hockey mask is about to find out how angry I can be. <laughs> What, what was that? <laughs> Wait, that was a show? <laughs> Mikey! Ravi! <laughs> Hello! Wait a second. Hey! You must be lost. There's a, there's a girl here. Get <laughs> 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 Alright, so first of all, good to meet you guys. My name is Brooke. Oh, <laughs> okay, quick question, or a couple of questions. First one is strictly for Eric Stewart. Okay. This is kind of random. Um, when you asked about getting some girls to play in the, in the game, was that a reference to Brock from Pokemon? Oh, I wasn't saying it because of that. <laughs> Don't you want to see my jelly donuts? <laughs> <laughs> No, I was actually serious. I, I, my question was really, how can we get more girls to come and play this game? That's very true. What do you think, Brooke? How do we do it? Um, 
should, the, should you spread the word that there are actually girls playing the game and maybe others will come? Should we build a baseball field on our farm and... Wait, that's a different thing. <laughs> a good answer. I'm going to let him say that. What did he say? Female main oh, female. No, no. He said all the guys need to shower. Cosplay as your characters. Yes. Cosplay? Cosplay as your characters. That's what, oh, if we did that? Yes. <laughs> oh, maybe with the rock opera I'll wear the whole Kaiba outfit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is a legitimate one. Um, I know you guys do the English dubbing for the Yu Gi Oh series, but out of curiosity, um, can you or have you, have you ever tried um, voice acting in another language? And if so, which ones could you possibly demonstrate? The pass. Don't think I start a video thing at Yu Gi Oh! Uh, the, the furthest I think I ever went in that direction was uh, I play Midnight on Kirby and I use a Spanish accent. Of tonight. Alright, um, we're done with, uh, would you like to finish off with any ending words for our fans out there? I, I would just like to say it's been a blast and thank you for having me here. This is my first year here and I, I, I just... The, the whole event is a lot of fun. It's great to actually get to meet the fans. And uh, I, I am, you know, I do play a main character. And uh, let's just say a little bit of that is my personality. But mostly I'm, I'm actually kind of a nice guy. And I'm, I'm actually kind of humble when you guys come up to me and tell me how much you like my work. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Mostly what Eric said. Um, I, I gotta say that this has been a really great crowd. You've been very respectful to us. Um, and uh, I've enjoyed meeting you too. I've enjoyed hearing stories about how our work has affected you positively. That's been great. Uh, we've had a couple of really good stories about our characters inspiring you to, to uh, be to rise above whatever situation may be bringing you down. And um, I'm glad that our work does that. Because uh, honestly, it's a, it's a lot of fun for us. We don't really get to see how it affects you. So thank you for that. Thank you for the stories. And enjoy yourself, man. Thanks. <clears throat> yes, what Eric and Wayne said, and uh, yeah, I mean, I obviously my son plays, so I've, I've come to a lot of these, but the fans are always, as Wayne said, just respectful and nice. It, it, it's always great, so it's always fun to come and, and meet people, and uh, the other thing that's fun is I get to hang out with Wayne and Eric, and because, you know, I would say that the best part of doing these series at 4Kids definitely for me because an actor's life is sort of transient and you know you don't have a nine-to-five job and I mean I think a lot of us felt this way but the, the best part about four kids and doing this work was the relationships we made like I went to school with Dan so we were friends anyway and but I really met Wayne and we started doing turtles and became good friends we became great friends and you know obviously I got closer to Eric he directed and so that's the best part was the best part of four kids for me and this gives us another opportunity to hang out and also meet you guys, which has been great. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. I just wanted to say one more thing, and if everyone, I want to talk about Dan Green for a second, but if everyone wouldn't mind turning off the recording devices. Please be honest about that, like everybody. And so just turn him off because I, I want to say something personal about him that I, I really don't want on YouTube So I'd appreciate it if, if everyone took a second and then turn off the recording right, so, uh, um, I'll take it off so. As many of you may or may not know 